Next we're going to be doing special tests for the uh, head and neck injuries. Uh, the first ones that we're going to be doing is going to be for the uh, head. First one is going to be a, a Romberg test for uh, this one. The simplest Romberg test that we can have him do is have, have, have his uh, feet together, his arms at his side, and um, he would just be uh, standing there with, uh, trying to balance while with his eyes closed. Now one thing as a, the athletic trainer or therapist, you need to stand close to them so just in case that they lose their balance, um, you can uh, grab onto them or hold them. If they have a gait belt, you can hold onto that. Um, so again, you're just looking to see if he has a balance or loses his balance for this one. Uh, uh, and, and then you can also do some modifications for this. Uh, if you wanted to, another modification, you can have him uh, hold his arms out. Again, keeping his eyes closed. And again, you're staying close to see if he uh, you know, loses his balance for any neurological. Another th third thing that we can do is while he has his arms out, we can also ask him to uh, raise one of his legs. Again, this is a, a little bit more advanced. Again, you need to make sure that you stay close to him just again in case he loses his balance. Again, all this is with his uh, eyes closed. Um, so, so that's the Romberg test. Uh, another thing that you can do is um, called the stork stance. Uh, so for this one, what he's going to be doing is he's going to be putting his uh, right foot along his uh, left, uh, excuse, left knee or, or vice versa. Uh, so I like this. There you go. That's called a, a stork stance. Uh, and again, uh, with his eyes closed, and again, stay close to him to see if he uh, loses his um, um, balance for any neurological. Uh, another one that we're going to be doing is uh, the finger to nose. Uh, so for this one, he's going to have his uh, arms outwards. And what he's going to ask him to do is tell him to touch the tip of his uh, index finger to the tip of his nose, um, alternating um, right, left, right, left, and the opposite and then bringing his hand back out and what you're looking for is to see how accurate he is for hitting his nose as well as uh, speed if, if he can you know increase it faster so speed and accuracy is what you're looking for in this one so go left right left right go a little faster and try to hit the nose each time okay and again he's got his eyes closed so that's the finger to nose uh, test uh, the next one is um, the uh, the last one here is just the the tandem tandem walk. So again, um, having an imaginary line here on the ground, uh, he's gonna just walk uh, heel heel to toe. Again, you want to make sure that you stand close next to him. Again, uh, you can try with the eyes open and or uh, eyes closed. Again, checking for uh, balance. Uh, and then again, any of these would be, uh, again, if there's any neurological problem, he would also have, uh, or brain, brain problem.